Today I will do some question and answer session to test fluid mechanics knowledge. So first question, question is what is fluid? I hope you know. So answer is a fluid is a substance that can flow and takes the shape of its container. It can be liquid, gas or a mixture of both. Fluid deform continuously under the action of external forces such as pressure or shear. This continuous deformation is what we call flow. Examples of fluid. Fluid can be classified as a liquid and gas. So liquid water flows from a tap. Taking the shape of the cup or container, it fills. Gas air fills a balloon, expanding to take its shape. Fine particles, sand flowing through an hourglass behaves like a fluid. Now question number two, second question. Define standard temperature and pressure, STP. What is that? Here is the answer. Standard temperature and pressure, STP, is a reference, con reference condition used in science to standardize measurement of gases, making it easier to compare different experiment. At STP, the conditioner pressure is 760 mmHg or 1 atmosphere and temperature T is 0 degree centigrade or 273.15 Kelvin. Here is the example of STP. Okay, so this condition are used when, what is the use of that? This condition are used when calculating the volume of gas as gases expand or contract with the temperature changes. Now question number 3. Define normal temperature and pressure, NTP. What is that? Normal temperature and pressure, NTP refers to another set of reference conditions used in scientific calculations. Pressure T is 760 mmHg or 1 atmosphere. Temperature T is 20 degree centigrade or 293.15 Kelvin. What is the use of that? This condition are often used in environmental engineering to assess air quality and pollution level. Next question, what is fluid mechanics? Fluid mechanics is the branch of physics that studies the behavior of fluid like liquid gases and plasmas and the forces on them. It is divided into the fluid statics, fluid at rest, fluid kinematics, fluid in motion without considering forces and fluid dynamics, fluid in motion considering forces. Understanding how blood flow in the human body helps in designing medical device like heat pump. So for that we need to study fluid mechanics. So next question what is fluid statics? Already I talk about that. So here fluid static or hydrostatics is the study of fluid at rest. It, in, uh, it involves analyzing how forces like pressure are distributed in a fluid that is not moving. Example for the fluid static, calculating the pressure exerted by the water at the base of a dam to ensure it can withstand the load without failing. Now next question is what is fluid kinematics? So fluid kinematics is the study of fluids in motion without considering the forces or pressures that cause the motion. It focuses on the flow patterns and velocity of the fluids. Or um, what, what, are the, what is the example for fluid kinematics? Observing the flow pattern of smoke rising from a chimney helps to understand wind behavior and diffusion. Next question. What is fluid dynamics or dynamics? Fluid dynamics is the study of fluids in motion while considering the forces and pressures that causes the fluid to move. It helps to predict the behavior of fluid flow under various conditions. What, are, what is the example? So, engineers use fluid dynamics to design better car shapes that reduce air resistance, improving fuel efficiency. Now, question number 8. What are the types of fluids? I hope you know. 
So, fluids are classified into two main types that is compressible fluids. These fluids change their density significantly when pressure changes. They are typically gases. In compressible fluids, these fluids have a nearly constant density regardless of pressure changes. Most of the liquids fall into this category. So, example, compressible air in a car tire changes volume when more air is added or released. Incompressible water in a bottle remain the same volume even when quizzed. Now, what about question number 9? Define compressible and incompressible fluid. Already we know that. We should not discuss again. Now, what is hydraulics? So, this is not in that chemical engineering related things, but it is related to fluid dynamics. So, hydraulics is the branch of engineering science that deals with the practical application of fluids that is primarily water in motion or at, at rest. It encompasses the behavior of fluids in various system and the use of fluid power. Example, application, hydraulic press, car brakes and dam design. Next is write down some important properties of the liquids. Uh, mostly incompressible fluid because liquid density is constant. So, in important properties of the incompressible fluid include density, mass per unit volume, usually constant for liquid, viscosity, a measure of fluid resistance to flow, specific weight, the weight per unit volume of the fluid, specific gravity, ratio of the fluid density to the density of a standard reference fluid, usually water, compressibility for incompressible fluid this property is minimal or negligible surface tension the cohesive force at the surface of a liquid then next is capillary action the ability of a liquid to flow in a narrow space without external force so these are the properties are very important so again density viscosity specific weight specific gravity compressibility surface tension another is bulk modulus also then and capillary action the next question what is Newton's law of motion? So, what is Newton's law of motion? Newton's laws of motion are fundamental principle in physics that describe the relations between a body and the force acting upon it and its motion in response to those forces. So, first law, a body remains at rest or in uniform motion in a straight line unless the acted upon by a force. Example, a book on a stable remain at the rest and it pushes. Second law, the rate of change of moment of, of a body is proportional to the applied force and occurs in the direction of the force. So, F is equal to MA. Example, pushing a car, the car accelerates in the direction of the push. Third law, every for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Example, the recoil of a gun when fired. So that's it for today. Again, I'll come back tomorrow. Thank you.